Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a live review of the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment for Super Sexy, Super Radiant Skin. So I heard a lot about this online and I've had um, or watched a lot of YouTubers do a review on this but I decided to try it out for myself. So if you watch any of my other videos you will know that I suffer from acne. Um, I'm wearing a little bit of a light foundation now so you can just see a little bit of it but most of the redness is gone. But when you do this you want to make sure that you have a nice clean skin and hands. So I'm just going to wipe all of this foundation off and clean up my skin. Okay so as you can see, um, well you can actually see it a little bit worse. Um, it's not so bad though, you can see all the scarring and the redness and uh, but anyways. So this is what my bare skin looks like. Um, so I'm just going to apply this with a clean foundation brush so I don't have to use my fingers. Even though my hands are clean, just wash them when I wash my face, but I would much rather use a nice clean brush. I'm using the Avon foundation brush. It actually sucks as a foundation brush, so I definitely would not use this as that. But I use these for more of my um, face masks, you know, to apply all that stuff. So, I have cleaned it really, really well, um, so I'll be using that. So, I'm just going to open it up, um, and it's got a little thing inside, so I'll just take that off. It smells like mud, but anyway, that's what it looks like on the inside. So, I'm just going to apply this onto my face, avoiding the eye area. Okay, so I'm not really sure. I hope I have enough on there. As you can tell, it's already starting to dry. Um, it definitely feels like kind of like burning tingly. Um, so hopefully that's normal. Um, <laughs> it's hard to smile because it's starting to get a little bit uh, dry and crustier on my lips. But anyways, I will let this dry and then I will come back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's really tight, so my face can't really move. Um, but yeah, I guess that's what it looks like when it's dry. There's little chunks of stuff in here. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wash this off, and then I'll come back and um, tell you what it was like. Okay, so my face is washed and free of all the clay mask. Now it is a little bit redder. But that normally happens when I wash my face, so anyway, that I don't think was part of the mask. But when I was washing it off, it felt really nice. Uh, as I added water, it just kind of exfoliated my skin. A little bit of grittiness, but it was actually really soft. Well, not soft, obviously, but really a, kind of like a gentle exfoliant. Um, my skin definitely feels a lot tighter, and that I think is what it's supposed to do. Uh, I wanted to try the clay mask that actually... Um, got rid of the stuff in your pores, I guess, but unfortunately they didn't have that one at Sephora, but I did try, um, decide to try and pick up this one anyways, just so I can give a review on both of them. So, I feel like my skin is a lot smoother. My pores, unfortunately, I don't feel as though they were, I, I, the stuff is out of them, I guess, as you can say. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how the other clay mask works for me, but my skin definitely feels smoother. Um, especially where I'm prone to blackheads, which is around my nose and kind of, well, T-zone, I guess. Because here is usually a little bit more of the whiteheads. But anyways, overall, I think it worked really well. The scent was um, not overpowering. It was nice and soft. Kind of clay mixed with citrusy, maybe a little bit. I don't really know. But it didn't smell horrible, which is awesome. Um, it was really, really tight, as you can tell by the clip before that. So, um, but anyways, I think it worked really, really well. I am interested to see how it would work in the long haul. So if you have tried this product, you let me know in the comments below, especially if you've used it more than once. I will definitely do an update on my blog at simplysarah.ca on, you know, my second time trying this. I'll probably do this once a week until it's, the little container's done. I think it's only probably about two or three applications but I will update you on my blog so I will do this video and then put the link below. Anyways if you like this video and if you like to see more reviews on products definitely put a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already um, to stay tuned for future videos and I will see you guys in the next video and have a wonderful day. Bye!